this segment, we'll talk about for loops. We're going to go to the block diagram. We're going to go to structures, drop down a for loop. A for loop contains several pieces of information. The little i or is the loop iteration counter. The n up in the corner tells us how many is going to, uh, how many times the loop is going to run. We're going to drop down a number on this. <clears throat> We're going to say four. Wire him in. What we want to do is to find out how many times this loop is going to run. So we're going to go back to our front panel, drop down a numeric indicator right here, back to our block diagram, wire him to the iteration counter. And if we go to the front panel and execute this, we see that the iteration counter goes to three. The loop actually runs four times, but the iteration counter always starts at zero. Four loops also always have to execute at least once. It is frequently useful to pass data out of a loop. So what we will do is take our iteration counter and we're going to wire out to our numeric. Now, notice that we have a broken line here. And also notice that the pass through the tunnel, okay, also is, has brackets. What the system wants to do is to create this into an array. We can right click on this and disable indexing. Go back to the front panel and execute this again. And you say, see we still get a three here just to show that it really is running. It won't let me do that, will it? Window, show block diagram. We're going to run this six times. Window, show front panel, execute. You can see that the numeric changes. If we go back to our block diagram, I'm going to delete the numeric. I'm going to right click on this, re-enable indexing. I'm going to right click and create an indicator. Go to the indicator on the front panel right here and expand him so we can see it. And now I'm going to execute this and you see I get values of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 go back to our block diagram, you see we ran six times and we actually got six output values. What this does is causes the system to build an array of all the possible values that are generated as the loop runs.